What's up guys, it's me Lumos Theramax and today we're actually here to cover an entire lantern core, something I've been promising to do for y'all for quite some time. And today we're specifically here to talk about the Red Lantern Core, which is definitely unique amongst all the cores and I'm here to explain why. So to give you an idea of how we exactly got to the Red Lantern Core, essentially we had this group of people called uh, the Five Inversions and Atrocitus was actually the fifth to join them. As we all know, Atrocitus is essentially the guy who really formed the Red Lantern Corps. Well, how did he do that? Well, using the blood magics that the other four inversions had taught Atrocitus, he basically utilized both Owen science and magic from those uh, from the blood mages known as the, the five inversions, and he coalesced them together. And using the blood of the other inversions, because he had to kill them to get there, he essentially formed uh, the central power battery in the first rings that he really had. And his entire ideology with the entire Red Lantern Corps was essentially the idea of, hey, we're going to roll out in the universe and right all of the wrongs of the entire universe through the concept of rage. Because if anything, he was angry at the Guardians for having wiped out his entire sector uh, full of its, of its life with the Manhunters, albeit there's a lot going on there. But he wanted to enact vengeance or rage against the Guardians of the Universe for said crimes. And thus, that's where both of uh, the only surviving members of Space Sector 666, that being five versions, had come from. But creating this new core, they go out and they, ins they spread and enforce rage. But where are they now in the current day? Well, even in the current day, they appear to be their own unique faction amongst uh, many of the different factions, including the Green Lanterns and uh, the Sinestro Corps uh, within this massive galactic government that exists um, that overlooks the entire universe. And it appears that they at least have some form or sway within this new system or this new society that exists. But let's talk about some of the special properties that the Red Lanterns offer that not a lot of the other uh, Lanterns offer, the, the things that make them unique even amongst the rest of them. So whenever you look at the emotional spectrum, which is like this wildly powerful pool of energy or like an energy field that exists across all of creation that feeds everyone what it is that makes their emotions happen, feeds them those emotions they can eat. And it feeds upon anybody. Well, they are on the toxic side because you have, uh, it's basically based in the color spectrum, Roy G. Viv, and R in this situation, or Roy, is red for rage. And the thing about the emotional spectrum is the further you get away from the center, the more toxic or the more sway that the uh, power of the emotion has over the universe. And with the reds, it's arguably the most green um, whenever it comes to that. And as I said earlier, it's a weird balance of both mysticism uh, or magic and science at the same time, which no other ring really manages to offer a couple hundred percent. On top of that, they use this, uh, they basically have these things called the blood pits of wherever it is they're at. Most of the time, it's essentially the blood pits. But well, what do those blood pits do? Those blood pits essentially are the same napalm liquid that makes up their blood and their heart. And this stuff is wildly corrosive, even being capable of entirely degrading or tearing through green lantern constructs. But this blood is the, the blood of the guilty that the Red Lanterns go out and seize and bring back to you as a uh, recompense for uh, the, the guilty in the universe. This powers the central power battery, which is something that you don't really see amongst a lot of them, if I'm being 100%. And depending at what point in time uh, you're looking at them, they may even have a Rage Mother, which is essentially like their version of what a Guardian should be. The being that is just wildly angry at the universe and kind of helps guide, uh, helps guide them throughout uh, whatever it is their journeys are and can also perform wildly powerful, um, like blood magic. And a blood magic is a core thing here that even some of the more powerful Red Lanterns, even outside of Atrocitus, can perform some of the blood magics that the Five Inversions or Atrocitus could simply due to their ties of having a ring. And uh, with very few exceptions to this rule, 99% of the time, if you are a Red Lantern, and these rings, whenever they find you, and unlike other rings, whenever they find you, they choose you not the other way around. They simply say, you have great anger in your heart, 
that you are mine and they slam onto your finger and you are driven mad because the process of converting your body from essentially uh, whatever being you are into a red lantern is very dramatically different. So let's get to what exactly these rings do to you whenever they're placed onto you. So obviously the first thing they do is completely reconfigure your physiology. They replace all of your, the, the ring, whenever it gets onto you, replaces all of your internal organs and begins replacing all of the blood inside of your body with this red hot napalm like liquid. Um, that's the only real way it's kind of described amongst all of the lanterns. This stuff is very corrosive, as I was saying earlier, and is very dangerous. This stuff can drain other uh, lanterns of their energy entirely, or even corrupt their rings, which is pretty wild to consider. And um, most specifically, your heart, or whatever beats liquid and uh, beats blood into your body, is completely removed, and the ring takes place of your heart. Now. The uh, rings also allow you to amp your rage off of others as well. So if there's angry people around you, you can actually uh, get amped up and get stronger from that. And you can even charge off of that as well, which is pretty impressive whenever you think about it. Because most other lantern rings have to go to a battery and charge off the battery specifically. Whereas they can just get angry themselves or have angry people around them and achieve that same goal. But on top of that, uh, unless you're one of the more recent lanterns who messed with Rancor and took his blood, most reds don't have the mental c uh, capabilities of creating constructs. It's just like a weird thing with red lanterns. And um, they, much like many other lanterns, create hyperspace jumps or travel uh, beyond light speed on hyperspaces to essentially get to wherever it is they want to go and do whatever it is they want to do. The rings also grant you access to uh, this really disgusting yet really effective uh, napalm vomit, which is essentially the lanterns just throwing their blood at people. And as I said earlier, it's stuff's wildly corrosive and can do a lot of damage in a very short amount of time to pretty much everyone ever, including, I mean, a variety of powerhouses across the board, whether it be other, any other major lanterns or even some of Earth's heroes like a Nightwatch, like Apollo, he got one shot even by a lesser Red Lantern's uh, uh, blood hacks. I guess he didn't get one shot, but he did get really messed up and almost cut out his eyes. And so this was essentially just a real quick summary of all the things that make the Red Lanterns unique and what exactly is their goals or agendas. Go out, travel the universe, find anybody who has wronged others, feel the rage of others and an exact and exact vengeance upon anybody who would cause such rage in anyone across the universe. And most specifically with Atrocitus, who is consistently the leader of the Red Lanterns, do anything he can to get vengeance on the Guardians who wronged both him and his face up here under any condition. That being said, if you guys have any more questions on the Red Lanterns, if you didn't think I covered something uh, that makes them unique or special, feel free to let me, know, let me know down low. Also, if you learned something you didn't know before about the Red Lanterns and their capabilities, definitely let me know down low as well. Be sure to like and subscribe to both me and the Theramax Core, my channel, and I guess we'll see you next time, Lanterns. Later.